Welcome to a new video from Excel Analysis Series PQB Power Query Basics. This video PQB04 extract data from folders. In this video, we're going to see how we can extract data from a folder containing CSV files, how we can use the file names as a new column in the query, and how we can merge three columns together to create a new date column. And also, we're going to see how we can load the query directly to a pivot table to format or to create a sales report. And finally, when we put a new CSV file into the folder, the report will be automatically updated. So before jumping to Excel, let's have a look on the data that we are going to use to create our sales report through the Power Query. As you can see, we have a folder containing three files. One of them is text file. We are not going to use it. We are going to use the other two files, which is a CSV file containing the sales information for two years, sales transactions for 2016, and sales transactions for 2017. Both of these two uh, files containing more than one million row, and you can see the size of the file is 34 megabytes. Each file of them containing data like this, uh, the category, the name of the category of the product and also the name of, of the product and also we have the quantity and the sales value and we have partial information about the date, we have the number of the day, we have the number of the month but we don't have the number of the year which is uh, as you can see, we can get it from the name of the file itself. So what we want to do is to create a new column here using this information and to create a new column here containing the full date as you can see. Once we finish the transformation, we need to load this data into a pivot table as you can see a pivot table report containing the data for the two years not only this when we add a new file to the folder containing the sales for 2018 and we refresh the query and the pivot table the table or the the pivot table report will be updated with the new year information if you want to follow along while watching the video or even if you want to practice after watching the video please go down in the description section you will find the link please use it to download the excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos we are going to start with a new workbook as you can see it's a clean workbook we just give it a name however all the information will be extracted from the folder that containing the csv file so to start doing this we need to go to the data ribbon because the power query we can see in this left section called get and transform we are going to get data and from file this time we are going to do, go down up to from folder and a small window will pop up asking you where exactly your folder i can use this button to browse or i can just paste copy and paste the path of the folder inside this bar once i click on ok the navigator window will be opened. the power query navigation window will be opened and as you can see here i have the content of this folder displayed in this navigator and i have a lot of options down here i have combine load and transform data and we usually use transform data once i select transform data the power query editor will be launched in the power query editor i will see only the information about each file inside this uh, folder as you can see i have here the three files one is text file and two is csv uh, files i want to work only with the csv files and whenever i add new files to this folder i need the power query only work with the csv so i'm going to select from this column the extension i'm going to select the filter and i'm going to filter out dot txt once i click in okay you can see here only i have only two files sales for 2016 and for 2017 and you can see in the applied steps i have the first step the source and then filtered rows so what i want to do next is to extract out the 2016 from this text from the name of the sheet or the name of the file so i'm going to select as you can see select this column from the header and I'm going to transform and I'm going to select split columns. For this case, I'm going to use a split by position. Once I select this, it will open a small dialog box asking you how you want to split this. I want to split by position and I can use the position of the text. So the first word is sales 
T I don't want the first six I want to start after the six so I'm going to write six and then I want to extract one two three four which is six seven eight nine so I want him to split again starting from 10 so I'm going to write 6 and 10 and then I'm going to click on OK what will happen here you will have 2016 and then .csv splitted and 2017 .csv also splitted and you can notice that the column header uh, changed to name one and name two, and also a new step uh, called split column by position and another automatic step called change type i'm going to get rid of this for now because i'm going to change the types later manually now if you look here in the content here is where the actual data lying if you select in this empty space you can see here here is your csv file and you can see it's 34 megabytes so what i want to do is to extract this data I can use this button which is combining the files together but if I did this it will ignore all this information and you know that I need the year number in order to complete the date fields so I'm not going to do this and instead of doing that I'm going to add new column add custom column once I select add custom column the custom column a window will open ask you exactly what you want to name this column for me i'm going to use custom i'm going, not going to change it for for the moment and in the formula section i'm going to write a new uh, formula called csv dot document and make sure that you are writing in the right syntax meaning that you are writing in the right spelling and also uh, you have to consider the uppercase and lowercase because power query is a case sensitive uh, language so i'm going to open a bracket once i open the bracket i want to put inside this formula the content column so i can see all the available columns here i'm going to select content and insert from here then i need to close the bracket you can see here the no syntax error so you are good to go once i click on ok you can see a new column added here called custom now if you select here you can see two tables if i select the table from the right area here you can see here here is your actual data and now you can just expand and you will get all this data inside the power query edit before doing this i need only in this case this information the information for the year and also the information for the two tables or the custom column that i added so i'm going to select the first one and i'm going to scroll and also i'm going to press on control and i'm going to select name dot one column and then right click and i can use remove other columns now i have the table and i have the name of the year as you can see here and now i can start to split my tables i'm going to use these two arrows from the header of the of the column here are all the columns that you have inside the table don't forget to uncheck use original column name as prefix and then click on ok all data will be expanded the two files together and all information now in one view as you can see so the first thing i want to do now is to promote the headers because you can see column one column two and then you have the headers here so first thing i want to do is use the first row as header for the column i can easily do this from home use first rows as headers now it's okay the only thing that i want to change in the header names is the column of the year because you can see here it's 2 2016 but let's leave it for now because we are going to merge this with the other information for the date don't forget to get rid of the second header means what we have two files each file of them containing a header we use the first uh, header uh, the first row of the first file as a header for this combined table but inside this data there's still another header i want to get rid of it if you want to do this let's go to something like category let's open the filter you can see here all the categories we have the four categories you can see also load more because the list may be incomplete because as you can see here 
the preview on the Power Query Editor is only working for around a thousand rows. However, I know that inside this file we have more than two million rows. So let me do the load more. It will be loading from the two CSV files and give you all the option that you may need inside this filter. It will take a few seconds, as you can see, working on the 3 million records. Now the list is complete. I want to uncheck category because category is the header of the column, not data inside the column. Let me uncheck and click on OK. Now I want to start to build the date. I have the day, I have the month, and I have also the year. But we have to be very careful when we are building a date from separate columns. We need to understand or to know first what is the order that will be accepted by Power Query. Because some countries are using the day, the day first, then the month, and then the year. And some other uh, countries start with the month like the United States. So let's check our regional settings first. I can do this from File, uh, Option and Settings, Query Options. It will open a new window. In this new window, you can check exactly what settings you are using. From regional settings here, you can check that you are working with the English United States, meaning that you need to start with the month first. So I'm going to select month first. I'm going to use control and then day. And finally, I'm going to scroll and go to select year. Now I selected the three uh, columns in uh, the right order. Now I can go to transform and do something called merge columns. It will open a new window asking you what separator you want to put between the data inside these columns. For me, I'm going to use custom and I'm going to use this dash and I need to give a name for the new column. Let me call it date. Then I'm going to click on OK. As you can see here, I have a column called date and the default is the information is ABC as you can see here ABC meaning that it is a text this is not good for dates so I need to change this to date now I have all transformation done you can check the data type before loading you have category ABC meaning it is text same for product quantity 1 to 3 meaning it is whole number 1 to 2 meaning that it is a decimal number and finally you have this calendar icon meaning that you are looking at dates now your information is ready you can start to load it to the excel sheet you can go to home and from home you can use close and load close and load to it will open the loading uh, window import data window you are going to use the pivot table report and you are, I'm going to use the existing worksheet let's put it in B2 and click on OK once I clicked on OK the query will start to connect to the data source and you can see the rows are loaded like here and the counter is indicating how many rows uh, loading till the moment now we are 130 and it is continue uh, counting till the end of the 2 million rows 2 million records more than 2 million records actually loaded and the queries and connection pane opened and also the pivot table already created you can see here the pivot table list you can quickly prepare your report i will start by dropping the date inside the rows once i do this the date will be grouped automatically you can see here the dates already grouped i have years and then quarters and then month let me take out the quarters i will also take out the date which is the month currently and i can put the years in the columns then let me drop the sales value in the values i can do a quick number formatting currency zero decimal places and okay then i can start to put the products in the rows and category above the product so i have the products classified by category and now you have your sales report completed and finally let's have the new file for 2018 and drop it in the same folder here is the folder for the data let's go up in the upper folder and let me take from here sales 2018 control x to cut back control v to paste once i go back to my uh, query my pivot table i can just 
go to pivot table analyze and refresh or I can go from data and use the refresh all button here it will update the query you can see here the rows start to load again and once the query finished also the pivot table will be updated and this will take something like 15 to 20 seconds once the loading of the 3 million rows done you can see here automatically the information for 2018 automatically updated without repeating any of the steps that we did to perform or to create this report that was all for today and finally before leaving you if you didn't subscribe to the channel please use the subscribe button to subscribe and like the video if you like it and leave me a comment so i can get benefit from your feedback thank you very much and see you in the next video and bye